Okay, I forgot to tell you how to import video into your video, into your Pro Tools project, which is kind of crucial since it's supposed to be a sound design project, right? See how I missed that? Um, not sure how I overlooked it, but here I'm doing a quick YouTube video just to rectify that. So if you've got the video sources uh, linked from uh, Blackboard and you picked one, so I'm gonna just say, ah, maybe I wanna do something with the train from Freeburg, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and open that in a new tab, okay? On these websites for archive.org, there's several different versions that you can download, okay? The one that I recommend working from in Pro Tools is this H264. It should be around five megabytes large. Um, you can use that. Uh, you do have the, uh, the fuller resolution version here under QuickTime. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using this as a basis for starting your project, but if you want to eventually migrate your project into a portfolio situation, it'd be a good idea to eventually uh, download this and merge it with your uh, Pro Tools project once you've uh, put together your sound design. Uh, but that's for a later date. In order to get things started, I would recommend starting with the 5 megabyte version. If I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and it's going to show me the file, okay? That's not what I want. What I want to do is actually download the file, okay? So instead of just clicking, if I control click, okay, I should see an option that says something like save link as or download link as. You want to do that. And then it's going to ask you where to download it. Okay, I'm just going to put it on the desktop uh, to begin with. Okay, so this is me saving the MP4 file to the desktop temporarily just to kind of get things started. Once it's downloaded, you can go ahead and hide the browser. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and launch Pro Tools real quick. Uh, for starting your sound design project, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and just start with a new blank session. Uh, so when I, once I get through the login screen here, we're going to just do a new blank session. Okay. So create a blank session. Yours looks a little bit different. Uh, and again, 16-bit, 24-bit doesn't uh, affect it too much. You want to be working with either WAVE or AIFF, okay? Um, I'm going to save it to WAVE for right now, but then I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. You should be familiar with this process here, but this is my video, you know, uh, unit 2. Okay, I'm going to save it on the desktop, and that will set up your session. Okay, so now on your desktop, you should have your session and your video file that you've downloaded. Or if, if you're saving it to a hard drive, you can do that as well. But you should have two things set up to start with, your session and your video file. Um, if your version of Pro Tools is like me, you'll have this annoying click that starts at the beginning. You want to go ahead and hit this M. Uh, that will mute the, the click. The click is very useful when you have... Um, music projects, but not so useful when you're doing a video sound design. Uh, if it muting is uh, not enough for you, you can go ahead and actually click on it, and as we talked about in class, track, delete, we'll get rid of it, okay. But now we want to add the video to this session, okay. So it's a very similar process to the audio import, file, import, and you notice one of the options is video instead of audio. So file, import, video is what you want to click on. That's going to bring up this dialog box, and you just want to select the mp4 file that you uh, downloaded before from the archive.org site. And once you click open, you're ready to go. You get this one last set of options here. Uh, it's going to create a track for your video, okay? And you want to, yes, place it at session start, okay? Um, these videos are silent, so even if you import the audio from the file, nothing's going to happen. So you can go ahead and just uncheck this so that you don't have an extra audio track set up for your video. Hit OK after you select the session start, and you'll see that it creates a, a track for you with the video on it. Okay, It also brings up this floating window. Okay, And when you go to play your project, you're going to notice the video plays alongside. This is so you, that you can now add audio tracks to it and uh, make connections with your video. Okay. So I can hit stop, stop. If you accidentally click and close this, okay, it's very easy to get the window back. Go to Window, Video down here, and it'll bring it back up. You can also resize if you want to make it bigger or smaller in terms of managing your desktop space. But that will get the video in your project. You can now work with the audio right alongside the video. Uh, the process of bouncing is very similar to what we did before, but instead of bouncing to disk, you're going to bounce to QuickTime Movie. That'll basically take your audio and marry it back with the video and export it, okay? And then you hit bounce when you're ready to do that, okay? I'm going to hit cancel for now. But that's the process of adding a video to your Pro Tools project. Hopefully that helps you get started and makes up for me forgetting that in class.
One last thing I noticed when I was kind of cleaning up is that this, there's a potential here for the video file to get separated from your session file. So let me show you one strategy to keep everything together so that uh, you don't lose your video file, you don't lose your audio files. Uh, I'm not sure why Pro Tools isn't automatically importing it, but if you uh, want to make sure that you keep everything in the same folder, uh, go back to the desktop and double click on your project. You should see that there's a subfolder called video files here. And if you click on it, it's empty. If it is empty, I would suggest taking the video file from the desktop and just dragging it in here. That will actually copy it into your project file. And now what happens if you go back to Pro Tools, even if I just save and quit, okay, uh, you'll see on the desktop my video, my project here, the session folder, still has this video files folder, has the actual video file in it. So that way next time I double click and open up my project, it's actually going to load everything and be able to find everything because it's all self-contained within that same uh, folder. You guys know how I've warned you about material getting lost and uh, regions and clips that are in your uh, project getting lost. This is one way to combat that with the video. So do keep that in mind. Again, looking forward to seeing what you guys have uh, next week.